Yo, welcome back to the Waviest channel on YouTube. 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 It don't matter. Welcome back to the Waviest channel on YouTube, bringing you sneak reviews, clothing reviews, dope vlogs, and everything in between. We got a new shoe today. New shoe in. Let's get this review done. Bow. Alright, you see here I have this black box. Right here you got that Nike all reflective on there. Size tag. Right there for you. There's a size 10. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. And we open the box. Got nothing. No special paper. Because the shoe's right here. So as you see, we have the Nike Fragment Dunks. This released uh, this week, last week, this week, I don't know. I've had these for a few days. I got these shipped overnight from the Nike Sneakers app. That's right, hit on these. I, I, I like them. They're, they're, they're not bad, you know, they're decent. We'll see, we'll, see. we'll definitely see. Haven't seen them on foot. That would be the determining factor, but. You want to hit me up? <laughs> nah. But these released, like I said, I got them from sneakers. They released in a city pack. They're a part of the Beijing. Uh, this is the Beijing fragment dunk. In that city pack, they released with the Sakai Blazer, Sakai Waffle Blazer, Blazer Waffle, whatever they're called. Nike Blazer, Sakai Waffle. I don't know. Was it the? Was it even the Blazer? Who cares? I don't like the Blazer, or the Sakai's. Really, the the waffles, except the white ones and the black ones. And the gray. It, well, maybe I do like them, but I don't like the blazers. Here's this shoe kind of released along with it. These did have an original release in 2010. So here they are. Once again, 11 years later. So you know the drill. I'm about to start this review. I'm going to start with the bottom. All black bottom. Nike Dunk bottom. It is basically the same as a. Jordan 1 bottom. Moving up to the midsole, you do have a white midsole and it has the writing here, C code and all of that on there. Ooh, all the way around the shoe. Well, that writing's not, but the white is. On the toe guard here, it is black. Then on this toe cap here, it is plum. Everything, I mean, it's just blocked as a typical dunk would be. So, yeah, as far as the color blocking, so you have that black here, purple plum, purple plum, black, purple plum. I don't know if I said that part over. Then you have this black part here that supports kind of the ankle and the laces on there. And you see, you have a fragment logo. I remember when this logo used to mean you were paying thousands but no longer and then also you see we have the back here i'll show you the back everything on there it's a good looking shoe yeah let me go ahead and slightly on my stairs On these here, you see there's a gap there. This part comes off. I'm not sure if all Dunk Highs are like this, kind of like the off-white, but there's a, quite a few Jordan ones that are doing that now. I don't know. I don't get it. But I guess it's not for me to get. But I just don't know if all the other Dunks uh, have this little feature on there. The only pair of Dunks I ever had, I was 
in like fourth grade. The no bug dunks. And those are dunk lows. So don't really know too much about dunk highs. I'm not a dunk high fanboy or really dunk low fanboy. I'm just a fanboy of colorways. Going back to the features of the shoe, obviously black laces, black tongue, and then on the tongue here, right here you have the the Nike logo tag and plum purple that color I don't know if you can see it but it has a fragment logo on the insole as I'm doing this review and kind of I just realized it these came pre-laced for the ones don't come pre-laced I wish they did but yeah interesting so go ahead and put these on foot and then I will see you right after right after fragment dunks definitely a nice looking shoe for sure dunks look good i mean they look similar to jordan one so it's a you know it's a jordan one basically kind of in ways i know the sb or the dunk heads are gonna not be happy with that comment statement opinion but it is what it is different outsole different little features but what I see is the Jordan 1 just a little funky looking and I really don't like some dunks don't have this but you see the toe box it's just weird like it goes up so high yeah and I don't like that with the dunks not all of it have them not all of them have it but something I noticed I guess those do but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. To me, that's kind of like the easy tab on the back of them. That is it for this review. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this shoe. Is it a cop or a drop for you? Subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. I'm out of here. I will see you soon. Never play yourself.